In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about silver, a little bit about gold, how the stock market is closed today, and a little bit of a recap on some of the intensity we've seen over the last couple of weeks. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about both silver and gold, but the stock market is also closed today. And I wanted to talk about a couple of different things that have gone on this month so far. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got the limited edition Christmas line going away on Christmas. It's your last chance to get one, link in the description. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will be in the description. If you refer three friends before the end of the month, they're going to give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed a free share of Apple worth about $170 right now with the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even 10 free shares of Apple per spin. Weeble link in the description. Okay, so... Today is December 23rd, as this is being recorded, and I'll be posting it on the 24th. I'm personally not interested in worrying about filming or editing anything. I want to enjoy a little bit of time with the family. I'll be seeing everybody, so I'll be taking the weekend off. But don't worry. I already worked hard this week. Saturday's video and Sunday's video are both locked and loaded and ready to go. They will be posted here on YouTube on Saturday and Sunday. If you're in the VIP club, you'll be able to watch both of them literally right now. I'm posting all the videos all at once, along with Saturday and Sunday's bonus videos. So four extra videos have already been posted today. Technically six videos. This video right here, my bonus video, tomorrow's video, tomorrow's bonus video, Sunday's video, and Sunday's bonus video, all in the Precious Metals VIP club. Link in the description. And Saturday morning, I'll be posting an exclusive VIP club bonus vlog. All that is in the VIP club. But like I said, as I'm recording the video, it's still the 23rd, which means I have no idea what the spot price is gonna be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. I wanted to talk a little bit about silver. I wanted to talk a little bit about gold. And by the way, the audio might be off a little bit for this video. I'm filming it on the go, so there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. But you can hear every word I'm going to say. I wanted to talk a little bit about silver, a little bit about gold. I wanted to talk about some of the events that have been going on this month. Because we have been bombarded with information and it's been incredibly difficult to keep track of. It's been incredibly difficult to really dissect and fully understand because it's gotten to the point where it's like information overload and I understand if you pay attention to the news whether it be politics or economic news or world news it's always information overload but even more so this month maybe it's just me but I feel like we've gotten so much information crammed into such a small amount of time and I try my best to read through as much as possible. I listen to the perspectives of all different angles. That way I can try to find the truth because one side tells it one way, the other side tells it the other way, which means neither of the two of them are being completely accurate. The truth is always somewhere in the middle. It might lean more heavily in one direction than the other, but it's somewhere on the scale. So I try my best to break it down to the best of my ability. I try to explain it in a way that is pretty simple for everyone to understand. I like to think that I do a pretty good job of doing that. I don't think I receive a whole lot of comments from people after watching any of my videos informing me that I wasn't clear enough. So I think I have that going for me. But we've had a lot of information thrown in our direction. And it's all taking place this month, or really everything that's been taking place this month. We've had the debt ceiling deadline, which the debt ceiling has been raised, but up until it actually officially got raised, we didn't know exactly what was going on. So we had that 
to worry about. We had the possibility of another government shutdown, so we needed to continue funding that, and that was kind of going back and forth. We weren't sure if that's going to happen or not, but that has been kicked down the road until February, so at the moment, we no longer have to worry about that, at least for another two months, that is. We had a really important, crucial meeting at the Federal Reserve, where we were going to get a lot of information from that. That's something that a lot of people were worried about as well. A lot of people didn't know, number one, if Jerome Powell was going to keep his job or not, but then we found out that he is, in fact, going to keep his job. But then we had to question, now that he's keeping his job, what in the world is he going to do? Are rates going to be raised sooner than expected? When is the tapering going to start? When's the tapering going to end? How long of a process is this going to be? So we found out about that information a couple of days ago as well. We also had a pretty big scare, is what I'll call it, because I don't know what else to call it. Just a couple of days ago, Saturday actually, we were informed that 46 had a major urgent announcement. But for whatever reason, they told us that the announcement was going to be made on Tuesday. We found out about this on Saturday. I don't know why they couldn't just say it on Monday. A lot of people were kind of under the impression. I was like, oh man, are they giving the insiders a 24-hour notice? A full trading day to sell what they need to sell or buy what they need to buy? I don't know. And Tuesday came around, and it turns out that the announcement, the big, important, urgent announcement, was kind of a non-announcement because there wasn't really anything there. We found out that... Basically, the announcement was that Christmas, for the most part, should be considered safe to celebrate. And on top of that, test kits are still un unavailable, but they will soon become available eventually. That was pretty much a summarized version of what the big, important, urgent, crazy announcement was that was kind of painted to look like almost like an emergency statement that was going to be made that we had to wait for. Turned out to be somewhat of a non-announcement. But due to all of this craziness, due to everything that has been going on, up until we actually get confirmation, it causes a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the markets. Whether it be the precious metal market, which is what I pay the most attention to, whether it be the stock market, which is something that I also pay very close attention to, whether it be any other type of market. It could even be the digital currency market, which I'm personally not overly interested in, but I still pay attention anyway because it's important to stay informed. Whenever there's fear, uncertainty, and doubt, it really gets things shaken up. We have seen silver and gold take massive dives as well as massive leaps in an upward direction. We have seen the stock market come crashing down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%. We've seen crazy rallies. We've seen the numbers do some pretty odd things. And there's been a lot of craziness in the markets this month especially. I would assume because of the information overload. No one knows what to do. No one knows what direction things are going to head in. Nobody knows because... Today, there's one announcement, and then tomorrow, it's, oh, scratch that, never mind. Yesterday's announcement is now irrelevant and obsolete. Here's the new information. And then tomorrow rolls around, and it gets flipped back again. No one really knows what's going on. It's unbelievably confusing, which means there's a lot of uncertainty. And whenever there's uncertainty, we see a lot of volatility. And whenever we see a lot of volatility, we start to see people begin panic selling. And when people begin panic selling, it creates even more unnecessary red unnecessary movement in a downward direction sometimes things go down for a good reason but during times of panic selling it's going down for unnecessary reasons and then the cycle continues because that creates more volatility and then more volatility creates even more panic selling and that creates even more red and you understand what i'm trying to get at but silver and gold, this entire month, have remained pretty defensive, I would say. I would say the precious metals during this month, December of 2021, sure, they haven't really moved much in an upward direction. 
haven't really moved in a downward direction either. It did fall down to the $21 range, which you could say is moving down, but it fell down to the $21 range from the $22 range. It wasn't that much of a fall. And guess what? It popped right back up to the $22 range and actually almost climbed back up to $23. So right now that appears to be, I, I, I don't know if you want to call it the support level, but that's kind of what it's looking like, at least at this period of time. But that's one thing I like about the silver and the gold. I'm stacking the precious metals, not for explosive growth. If I was looking for explosive growth only, if I was exclusively looking for something that was likely to take off like a rocket, I probably wouldn't have put any of my dollars into silver or gold at all. I probably would have put it all into like Tesla or something like that. That's not why I'm stacking the silver and gold. I'm stacking the silver and gold for long-term wealth preservation. Sure, very, very, very slow moving, but that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the more defensive plays. Very similar could be said about certain stocks as well, by the way. I'm talking about the big dogs, the blue chips. I'm talking about the Costco's, the Walmart's, the Coca-Cola's of the world. Now, you could say what you want about the companies. That doesn't matter. I'm talking about the stocks. People look at them as defensive plays. Why is that? Sure, the tech sector has been astronomical for the last 18 to 24 months. But guess what? During times of economic uncertainty and financial hardships, and I'm not talking about times where everything goes digital. Yeah, the tech sector does very well during those times. But I'm talking about general market corrections or market crashes. The more specul speculative plays get hit the worst. And the blue chips, the rock-solid corporations that have been here forever and will be here forever, sure, they take a hit as well, but they don't fall nearly as hard as some of the newer, more speculative growth stocks. Point being, I don't mean to compare silver and gold to you know Walmart or anything like that, but that's kind of how I see it. They're more defensive. And that's exactly what I like, and that's exactly what I look for. And when it comes to stocks... Here's the last thing I'll say. Make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will be in the description. Refer three friends before the end of the month. They're going to give you a free share of Apple with the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even ten shares of Apple. Weeble link in the description. That's it. That's all. Back to silver and gold. I like the fact that they are much more slow moving. I like the fact that they are much more steady and consistent, especially gold, by the way. Silver tends to be the much more volatile metal between the two, but gold, slow, stable, steady, consistent growth. And during times of economic instability, whether it be the housing market or the stock market or this market or that market or or an unemployment issue or a pandemic or whatever the case may be. During times of instability, a lot of people turn to gold. They turn their backs on some of their investments and they turn to gold instead. Why is that? It's for a sense of stability during times of instability. That's what I like about gold. And what I like about the way that I'm stacking gold is that I'm focusing on the gold when nobody else is. A lot of other people, they're, they're distracted. They see the new meme stock or the new meme coin, and they're like, oh my god, everybody's saying to the moon, I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to throw my life savings into it. Guess what? While everyone's doing that, I'm still little by little chipping away at silver and gold and some of my more rock-solid investments. I'm still stacking and I'm still investing into what most people aren't really paying attention to. See, me being a contrarian, that's the goal. Whenever I see hype and excitement, whenever I see people talking about rallies, whenever I see people getting all 
crazy intense and, 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 and promoting this one particular thing, that's when I say, okay, that's a red flag, and I'm going to stay as far away from that as humanly possible. I want nothing to do with it. Have your fun. I won't belittle it. I won't even pay attention to it. You could do what you want to do. I'm going to stay over here and continue to stack and continue to invest in what no one else is paying attention to right now. And then when the rally is over, when the hype and excitement starts to come to an end and it stops moving in an upward direction and it kind of flatlines and then it kind of starts to move in a downward direction a little bit and then all of a sudden it's, it's going down even more and then it continues to sink and then everything else, you know, everybody starts to, once again, like I said before, the volatility starts to lead to panic selling and panic selling leads to even more red and that leads to even more of a bumpy road and it leads to even more instability. And at that point, what did I just say? During times of instability, people start to say, okay, where can I find a sense of stability? And a lot of people, not everyone, not even most people, but a good number of people at that point say, okay, where's the gold? Where's the gold at? I need some gold. I need some stability. It's too, it's too, it's too crazy. It's too chaotic over here. Meanwhile, while they were distracted in what is now coming crashing down, I was stacking gold that whole time and silver. See, that's the way I like to do things. That's the way I like to keep it. That's the way I will continue to keep it. That's the way that makes the most sense to me. Now, my way of doing things, I'm not going to say is the correct way. There are a lot of different ways you can go about doing things. There are a lot of people out there who find astronomical success by throwing their life savings into a speculative meme stock or meme, meme coin. I wish them the best. In no way, shape, or form would you ever catch me saying, have fun being broke or blah, 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 blah. People say stuff like that all the time. The reason for that is because they're not confident in their own decisions. When they hear someone with a conflicting opinion, they get all defensive for a reason. They get upset. They get all hot and bothered for a reason. It's because they're not even confident in their own decisions. If they were, it wouldn't matter what I said. If they had the conviction, if they had the confidence, if they truly believed in what they were doing, they would just roll their eyes, at my opinion, and they would continue doing what they're doing. There's a reason they hit the brakes and become combative. There's a reason that they're not secure in the decisions that they make. There's a reason for that, and that's all I'll say. But I will not belittle somebody for making their own financial decisions. I would encourage someone to do, make their own financial decisions. Never in a million years would I want somebody following my, in my exact footsteps. Because guess what? I make mistakes along the way as well. That's how I've learned. But I will say this. Over the last four years of stacking and the last maybe year and a half of investing, I'm going to be honest. It's all been incredibly well for me. And I understand four years of stacking and a year and a half to maybe two years of investing is no time at all. But so far, so good. And I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue learning as I go. And guess what? I'm going to continue making mistakes. That way, I know what to do and I know what not to do next time. Trial and error is, I believe, the key to success. I can take 10 steps in one direction and... I realized 10 of the steps, maybe three or four were a failure. And I'm like, okay, now I know what not to do next time. And silver and gold has really helped along the way. Because once again, it gave me and a lot of other people a sense of stability during times of instability. Before I get too off track here, I'm going to close off this video. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. I hope everyone has an incredible holiday with their friends, with their family, with whoever it is that you're celebrating with. Hope everyone's going to have an incredible holiday weekend. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? Do you agree with me? Are you on the same page? Good Lord, December has been information overload. And of course, what are your next couple pickups going to be when it comes to the precious metals?
And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. If you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have a ton of different designs. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have stickers, we have coffee mugs, all up for grabs. But of course, until Christmas, we have the DYDSS Christmas line, which is helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's for a good cause. It's helping children with cancer. And you only have about one day left to get one, so link in the description. Use promo code SANTA for a 15% discount on absolutely everything in the DYDSS store. Link in the description. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will be in the description. If you refer three friends by the end of the month, they're gonna give you a free share of Apple from the spin wheel, guaranteed, with the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even 10 free shares of Apple. Please don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? With all of the information we've been bombarded with this year, from the debt ceiling deadline to the potential government shutdown to the Federal Reserve tapering and raising rates next year to the big urgent announcement that ended up being somewhat of a non-announcement to this happening to that happening to the stock market rallying to potentially the stock market crashing. All of the information that we've been bombarded with, do you consider it to be information overload? And it would help me out if you let me know. Have I done a relatively decent, I'm not going to say a good, have I done an, an okay, decent job breaking things down and explaining the different things that are going on in the world? And of course, number two, what are your thoughts on the precious metals right now? Of course, what's the spot price as you're watching the video, but what are your next couple of pickups going to be? I believe I'm going to be holding off until January, as I've explained in previous videos, but I will be going after some Washington quarters and hopefully some quarter ounce gold coins in the new year. But head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.